Get ready to quiet the noise and focus in, because today we're diving into the world of phonic pollution. Join us, as we explore the impact of noise pollution and how it affects our health and well-being. Let's start by explaining what noise pollution is. Phonic pollution or noise pollution is the unwanted or excessive sound that causes disturbance and annoyance to the ears. It is a growing problem in the modern world and has severe negative effects on our health, including both short-term and long-term consequences. The sources of noise pollution are diverse and range from transport and industry to loud music and construction works. Now let's look into the short-term exposure to noise pollution. This can cause annoyance, irritation, and disruption of concentration. Noise pollution can interfere with communication and cause stress and fatigue. This can lead to a decrease in productivity, mood, and overall quality of life. Studies have shown that exposure to noise pollution increases blood pressure, heart rate, and the production of stress hormones such as cortisol, leading to an increased risk of heart disease and stroke. Now, moving on to prolonged exposure to noise pollution. This can have more severe and long-term effects on human health. It can cause permanent hearing loss and tinnitus, ringing in the ears, which can significantly affect one's quality of life. Chronic exposure to noise pollution is also associated with cognitive impairment sleep disturbance, and increased risk of mental health problems, including depression and anxiety. Let's have a closer look at the effects of noise pollution on children. Noise pollution can be particularly harmful to children, as it can interfere with their learning and development. Exposure to excessive noise in schools can affect academic performance, language development, and social behavior. Children living in noisy environments are also more likely to suffer from sleep disturbance, which can lead to fatigue and a decreased ability to concentrate. Here are some ways to avoid phonic pollution. There are several ways to reduce and avoid phonic pollution. The most effective way is to reduce the sources of noise pollution themselves. For example, traffic noise can be reduced by designing quieter roads. While vehicles and industrial noise can be reduced by using sound-absorbing materials and by erecting enclosures around machines. Individuals can also take steps to reduce their exposure to noise pollution. This includes using noise-canceling headphones, earplugs, or soundproofing their homes and workplaces. People can also avoid loud music, especially for prolonged periods, and try to limit exposure to other sources of loud noise such as construction work. In conclusion, phonic pollution or noise pollution is a growing problem in the modern world that has severe negative effects on human health. Remember, short-term effects of noise pollution include annoyance, irritation, and disruption of concentration. While long-term effects include permanent hearing loss and an increased risk of mental health problems, children are particularly vulnerable to the harmful effects of noise pollution, which can interfere with their learning and development. To avoid phonic pollution, it is essential to reduce the sources of noise pollution themselves, and individuals can take steps to reduce their exposure to noise pollution. Thanks for joining us on this ear-opening adventure. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe for more mind-expanding content. Stay curious, keep exploring.